Welcome to a new video in my home automation channel and I want to talk about some uh, updates that uh, EVLink has or IT has delivered to the EVLink camera application. As you can see here I'm running the, uh, the new updated version which is 1.3.5 and it has a couple of new features. For example it has motion detection, it has a recording function which uh, to be honest I think it was to some extent available in the previous version as well and there is also low battery warning so now with motion detection if the camera detects motion obviously it is based on motion on the image not um, like a PIR sensor then it will send you a notification and if the battery drops uh, to e below 20 or 10 percent it is also going to send you a notification to your EVLink application and of course you can also choose to record the footage on the phone as well as a local recording but as I said I think that was available before and since I have the NS Panel Pro, I wanted to show you how it works with the NS Panel Pro again. So it is really easy to set up a baby monitor using an old phone with the evening camera. And if you have an NS Panel Pro already at home, you can just use that to view the, uh, the footage. I mean, of course, uh, this might go to sleep from time to time, but using the built-in motion sensor, if I'm moving around, it usually keeps this video feed alive. And as you can see, it is it is very quick to respond. It is definitely quicker than a, an IP camera usually is. So I don't see a lot of lag. Oh, well, there was a drop out there, but, but other than that, it works just fine. So just to go to the features, as I said, there is a motion detection and there is local recording. And of course, there is the functionality. Ah, oh, yeah, so it has gone to uh, sleep mode now. So you can see that um, it has the power saving mode, which it does automatically as well, but we can uh, push that button as well. And that's just going to dim the screen to the lowest possible settings. Uh, of course, I also want to show, uh, say, but it's also mentioned here on the screen, that you need to keep the application running because if you quit or you, if you close the phone, then uh, the stream will stop. And you can set up the recording, what would be the maximum size. So based on this um, old Nexus phone, it has 33 hours of memory to run the recording. And if you go into settings, you can set whether you want to use the front or the back camera, which I think it was there before. Also the microphone, there is overheat protection. You can also uh, pair with the Bluetooth accessory. And of course, if you enable the motion detection, then it will automatically send you notifications. So now I have propped the camera, so it's looking at my Lego figure that you can see here. So that's my neighbor cutting the, uh, the grass. And uh, I can enable the motion detection here as well, but the, this device is available on my phone as well. So if I open it from here, I can see the feed on my phone as well. And within the settings, I can enable the motion detection. You have options for three different sensitivity and you can enable or disable the push notification as well. So if I save this now, uh, also you can set the local recording from here. Uh, while I enable the uh, recording so there is a little bit of footage there so you can view these footages and uh, download them and this is where you can uh, enable the low battery alerts as well so all these alerts will come to your uh, application and by the way I already have a couple of notifications so I have a notification that a motion is detected on the Nexus and also that the Nexus is getting a little bit too hot well as you can see uh, that we, I have uh, you know shades and everything going in the background so that is triggering the motion detection of course if I move the finger that would detect the motion detection or trigger the motion detection so as with any you know cameras that use the image itself to detect motion detection it's going to do a lot of uh, false alarms but if you have it indoors where you don't have shadows um, I think it should work very uh, reliably so you can obviously play around with the sensitivity, but I think you would end up getting some uh, false notifications anyway. So as you can see, the uh, phone has gone into power saving mode, so it has dimmed the screen, but of course the app is still running and the feed is still working. So you can still keep eye on something that you are monitoring with this uh, EVLink camera. But to be honest, that would be the update on the EVLink camera. If you are interested in this, I'm going to leave links to the App Store application and the iOS App Store application in the video description. But that would be all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.